Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon. It is currently September 1963. We have sent a human into space. We are working on multi-crew orbit as our research and we are perhaps falling a little bit behind where we ought to be because I delayed uh, doing research lab expansions and building the research lab itself. So we may be in a pickle however our milestones, we've got number one on all except for satellite imaging. Uh, and the next thing for Earth milestones is multi-crew orbit, so we're going for that. Uh, orbital EVA and then uh, commercial satellite, apparently. Then it goes for space station here. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Why it says Mars and beyond for something around Earth, I don't know. Also, since it's around Earth, I don't know why the Grand Tour is here, but... You know, there's probably some logic. We have some requests. We've got a life support test, which seems important. Um, and that pays pretty well. Ionospheric measurements and astronaut recovery tests. Research, mission research costs for six months is reduced by 25% if we finish second or above in two milestone missions. Okay, okay. So we're we're working on asteroid recovery test, astronaut recovery test, and moon me micrometeorites. Okay. All right. Next month then, since I can't uh, add a mission slot. Geophysical data acquired. Okay, so I got the because I did the satellite imaging mission, I gained that stuff. That was promised to me. Good. I was wondering about that, and so we're pretty clu uh, close to finishing multi-crew orbit. Just in time, because we'll finish that Heat-10 probe. Research lab expansion complete. And that's good too. Microcrew orbit, multi-crew orbit. Mission complete. And moon micrometeorites we can do. Fine. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just design you. 200 kilograms. Um, that can get to the moon. That is really big, so... <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, that's really big, so we don't need that. Alright, able stage again. Booster. Well, I mean, this'll do. So I guess we'll just go Algol Able. We've got pretty good reliability with that, so why not? So this completes in one month and then we'll be able to do that. And research, let's continue with researching missions. Um, we got the multi-crew orbit, we should do the payload. Okay, we can design the vehicle for astronaut recovery. Well, that matches our minimum, so Delta stage. And let's just... Ooh, the launch reliability is decreased because of... of experimental fuels. Stop using experimental fuels. If we add two boosters, launch reliability, reliability improves. Well... Sure then, why not? Okay, next month. We should have a lot of public support now, right? Right? Yeah. Halfway to level 8. Gemini research complete. Okay, so we can do the multi-crew mission. And we might as well... We It looks like we have to do everything in order to get crewed moon landing. At least that's how I'm reading this. So, let's work on um, Venus Impactor or Mars Flyby. I don't know. Uh, uh, v it, Venus Impactor isn't exactly what they really want. now, well, I guess. Anyway, Mars Flyby. I'm a Marsy person. Let's do that. Okay. We've got vehicles to deal with that, right? Yeah, inner planets. So, I trust Mars is counts as the inner planets. It's not just those inside Earth's orbit. Um, yeah, and that's the one we were aiming to use, so I think we're okay. That was the plan. Yep, seems okay to me. 
All right, so we'll continue researching missions. Mission control expansion complete there. Unlocks one additional mission slot. So now we have three mission slots. So while we're working on our other missions, we can throw on multi-crew orbit. So let's plan that. Gemini capsule. Very nice. 720,000 though. Okay, build it. Okay, next month. Mars flyby research complete. Okay, moon micrometeorites vehicle complete. Training bonus reduced by minus 50% per month. Our reliability is so high. Let's just not worry about that. Science training. Well, I guess we could do... Yeah, we, launch reliability, reliability training was useless, but science training we can do. Um... Let's try it in June. Okay. China has a mission in progress. Five... Uh, they can potentially complete it in five months. Do they ever fail? <laughs> I haven't noticed that they fail. So, hmm. A little bit worrying. So, setting research. Let's get Sakigake so that we can do the Mars flyby mission. And next month. And it doesn't look like anything new is happening next month. Okay. Launch seems promising. What are our weather conditions? Seems clear. Yokata. Uh, excellent conditions. 99% launch reliability. Yeah, let's go now. Don't reschedule that. Off we go. I do sort of wish there were more outright explosions early on. Ah, oh, we couldn't get into the green zone. Okay. Level 5 on Able now. Doesn't get any better than that. Okay, the mini game. Trans Lunar Injection. Okay, um. Let me just get this one. And then. Is there any point to getting signal? I guess we can use navigation and signal to convert to data, so we'll do that too. Should be very reliable, right? Ooh, that's tight. And that's good too, though. Alright. Okay, so I want more navigation and more power, I guess. Okay. All right, so now we have one spare navigation and plenty of comms, so let's do that one. And let's grab some extra navigation and data like that. Okay, that was good. And that was good too. But now can we get two extra data? 
There are a lot of ways to spend data. It looks like if we do this, um, we should only do one. Oh, uh, and one of those. Okay, we'll try it. Okay. Got all the data. Okay. So we don't need the other thing. Alright, that was just Translunar Injection. Achieve Lunar Orbit. Oh. This is separate. Oh, we need a lot of comms. Let's just... Do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Ah, oh, fail one percent. Wow, what a roll. Um, I guess we can resist. Recharge. And then we want the data. So we'll spend one charge and one nav to get lots and lots of data. Oh, barely. Okay, I think those are the things we want to do. I don't really need navigation, which is odd for making orbit, but it's okay. Let me recharge a little and get more data. Um, no, let's do this one. Maybe that's a bad idea. Okay, antenna alignment successful. Oh, this is the last- oh, okay, well, I've really messed up, sort of. Um, well, let's really hope we get this. Okay, phew. Nearly failed to make orbit there. Okay, no bonus this time. Clearly mismanaged that. Okay, we completed Moon Micrometeorites. Gemini will be complete in one month. No, nope, let's proceed. Now, do we have something that can launch it? Okay, so it's a 3.8 ton payload. And this Delta K can boost up a 3.8 ton payload. And that on a Delta rocket, which is very expensive, but hey, with boosters, can manage it in nine months. Well, that's pretty darn expensive. In fact, we barely have enough money. But it looks good. <laughs> it's sort of, I mean, if you ignore the fact that this is actually a Delta rocket, it sort of looks like a Titan with two boosters, but. Okay, we'll pay the money. Well, Soviet Union completed Venus Impactor. No, we're, we were prioritizing this track. The multi-crew orbit, orbital EVA track. We'll get that part done. But... Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll skip. They seem to have skipped. I felt that they skipped stuff. So maybe we'll just skip through this. We couldn't... You know, it'd be better if we could just skip Sakigaki and get to one of these. But I guess we have to build it first. But we might not launch it. We might just go here. But then again, maybe there's no point in not launching it. We'll see. Okay. 
Because we've got the three mission slots now. Alright, next month. Research complete. So we got that done. I'll still do orbital EVA first. Because the we've got the payload for it already. So... Okay. We should have another mission slot, is that right? We've got one mission slot available. So... Oh, well, let's see the moon first. There are no requests for the moon. Mars? Mars flyby. Well, I guess we've completed Sakigake, so let's go ahead with it. 600,000. Ah. We don't have enough money. Let's get that mission that gives us money. Uh, not here. Okay. We need science too, but I think we need money more right now. So heat shield analysis. Fine. Oh. What? Suggested parts for human in space. What am I doing again? L let me read. Um, wish to test a new heat shield in a crude basic Earth orbit mission. Okay. Yeah. So... Well, it says no mission slots available. What? Oh, right. The Mars flyby. No. That's a board mission. We didn't pay for it. Okay. So now we can pick up the heat shield analysis. Okay. There we go. And uh, Mercury, if they like Mercury, that's fine by me. 400,000. No, I guess that's part of the price to pay to get more money. At least we're doing something. Okay, astronaut recovery test. Assigning astronaut Miyamoto Shuji will increase support Mission training bonus by 100%. Well, then pick him. Uh, Miyamoto Shuji. All right. Increase this launch reliability. That's, so that's fine by me. Wait. That didn't. Assign ast... Uh, no, 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 no. Unassign. Assign astronaut. There we go. Okay. Training. Let's go with launch reliability. 67% <laughs> is pretty tight. Okay, and November looks good. Okay, launching Mars or Mars orbit already. Not even Mars fly. I thought I was gonna leapfrog, but no. Well, at least the China completes Mars flyby first. At least Soviet Union should get Mars orbit, but okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. Work with China. So this is now getting a little bit more attractive. Your engineers... Why is it always China, though? Your engineers have discovered a major design flaw in Yata, the launch vehicle in your coming multi-crew orbit mission. They estimate 28... Uh, sorry, 20% 20 20 reduction from its current launch reliability. They really want me... To, they're really forcing me to work with China. I can't launch with 63% reliability with a crewed mission. Grant China science boost. They're already ahead. <laughs> uh, or, uh, yeah, I mean, they're already ahead. Fine. Has gained science. Well, lives first, you know. Okay. Minus 10%. Hey! Gosh darn it. So... Okay, this is not great still. I don't know if it was worth it. They didn't give me a number on how much science China got, you see. I only know my number. Well, excellent conditions at least. T minus zero does not mean what it used to mean, apparently. Look at those boosters.
Ooh, very good. Strong comms we get from that. And improvement on the Delta. Could you just make it cheaper? I'd rather just make it cheaper. Okay, achieve Earth Orbit seems important. So... Comms, comms, and... More comms. How do we get seven? Oh, we start with one comm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's good. We need 11 comms. We got an extra data. Okay, and that one worked too. Oh, that one failed. But we can resist. So we resist. Resistance is not futile. Okay, we need a lot of... Navigation, and we happen to... Well, this, uh... Manual trajectory update. There's a person and comms. Seems like that's a good thing to do. Recharge. And then... Get more comms. I guess it occupies our astronaut for one turn or something. Or maybe occupies the astronaut completely, let's see. Same return test work too. Ah, uh, yeah, just for one turn it occupies our astronaut. But we need power. And we'll have the astronaut still do that. And that didn't take up our power. But it take, took, took up a comms, so we'll get more comms. Well, at least the astronauts do something. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, last turn, we still have that one data. We could just convert that to navigation. And then we would need charge to get two more comms. And that's what we'll try for. Ah, we missed that. That data was no good. Still don't know what that animation is supposed to say. If we use the charge, we're still not going to complete because we won't get the comms. But we might as well go for this one. Yeah, we don't have resources. So anyway. So no bonus, but at least we got the base thing done. And our astronaut, I wanted to say Kerbinaut, but astronaut comes back. Little boats. Okay, mission complete. We recovered the astronaut. Okay. Active missions. Heat shield analysis. So, we need to design a new vehicle. This is gonna cost a lot. Uh, it's a Mercury mission. Can we just send the Mercury uncrewed? I mean... Anyway. Uh, so that's a Mu-3. That'll be cheaper than using the Delta stage, which is the other option. No, no, actually the Delta stage is... Wait, the Delta stage is cheaper. It just takes... a longer time to build. We haven't researched the Atlas, but actually the Delta is cheaper. But we don't have 511k. Okay, well we'll have to wait on that. Till... Next month. Now we can go there and build vehicle. Shobu. I wonder why 
it has a fairing on top of it when we're putting the mercury capsule on, but... Okay. Funding review. Please give us more money. They're not really giving us more money. 255k per month. The problem is the buildings cost so much. Well, we've got one more mission slot. Let's see. That's a lot of science and a lot of support. That's science and less support. Solar Observatory and that's science, that's science. Well, if we're going to go for science, let's go for a lot of science. We're already planning that one. This is challenging. This has the experimental fuel thing, which reduces launch reliability, but more science. Plus 25% for all rewards for mission success, minus one turn in each task. This one's medium risk, this one is ambitious. But the rewards are like... similar. So... I don't know, uh, I like the more science reward, but the reduced launch reliability is horrible. Alright, let's try this ambitious thing. Shoot, it's the same payload. At least there'll be something interesting. Orbital EVA research complete. Okay. Matsumoto Hitomi will increase mission vehicle mission training bonus by 100%. Okay. Oh, we need two, two of course. Well, assign, assign. So Matsumoto and Mura. All right. Um, vehicle. Well, I don't know which training that is. I guess we should just go with. Oh yeah, this one is the one that the bonus applies to. So let's do that. And plan for June. Okay. Well, is anybody up to us with the multi-crew orbit? It looks like we're ahead on that, so that's good. Orbital EVA, we're the only one that has researched it. So, in our little niche, we're okay. Okay, observation satellite complete. That's just a... Uh, Earth observation satellite, but it's 1.5 tons. Well, that Mu-3 upper stage can handle it. So can the Delta. Delta K is like really expensive, which is funny, but... Okay, so I just... One month build time though. We can get to... So that's two months build time. 57% launch reliability. And I'll take the five months build time. Me can afford it, so let's go. Even though the colors don't match. Alright, let's launch multi-crew orbits. Okay, so that's pretty good reliability, I suppose. Let's launch. Max bonus 30%. Looks like good weather. Very good weather. <laughs> that's a heck of a launch tower. I would not want to build a launch tower that tall simply because eventually the rocket might hit it. Okay, adequate conditions. It looks great, but okay. We can't get things too much better than what we've got anyway. Okay, up it goes. And that's... No, oh, I thought I was going to get to the green area, but alright. Delta Rocket is level 5. Delta K, level 1. Delta K is really expensive, so... 
better be as reliable as possible. And that's a lot of requirements. We've got six comms, six data, nine nav. And for the bonus, we need double that for each of them, which is a lot. How many turns? We got five turns now. So this is getting complicated. Okay. Well, what we see here is that we can get three data for each charge. And then you see, now I have to think because <laughs> uh, so many complications. Here we have two nav and one com for each data. But then one of our peoples plus two comms can give us five data. So with one charge, we could get five data. As long as we have one of our people working on it. So let's try that. One charge, five data. So we'll get five data. And then we'll use one of those data to get that. And then we'll use another charge to get more comms. Because I guess we can only do... Uh, manual data collection is four comms. Though. Well, we'll use that eventually. Okay, let's try this. But we'll need more nav. Lots of nav. Okay, that worked. Signal return test. Let's see if our astronauts are competent. Oh no, very not competent. <laughs> Stupid astronaut. Which one was it? Well, we can resist, all right. Okay, now we got the data. And we'll get this orbital realignment done. And that'll give us two of the nav. Now, nav is what we need and signal return test. Four things. Not used to doing four ting things per turn. All right. Okay, we need more nav stuff. It seems like flyover course adjustment gives us a lot of nav. Let's have both of them work on this manual data collection that doesn't take any charge. And then one charge in one of that nav, which will be extra compared to our baseline requirements, gives us four nav. And then we could get some bonus data and fulfill that requirement, or... Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and make sure we've got that nailed. And then we'll recharge. Oh, that sucks. Okay, our astronauts suck, basically, is what this is telling me. Well, we can resist, all right. Flyover course adjustment is fine. Okay. I guess the astronauts are just rookies on their first mission, so... Visual spectrum sampling. Gives us the data. Okay, now mainly we are looking for more nav. We'll give them one more go with the comms, and then again we're going to try and use one charge and one comms for the nav, and we'll recharge, and uh, let's do two, two recharges there. Okay. At least the recharges can't fail. That would be really annoying. Okay, they successfully got the data collection this time. Okay, and the course adjustment works. Alright. Well, we can get five data from two comms. And one of them conducting experiments, so let's do that to get the bonus level. And we can use one power and one of the comms to get four more nav. We should recharge, and we'll just do a 
We're running out of time though. Signal return test. Or shall we try for four of them using well, let's this seems like a more interesting option though. Okay, let's try it. Okay, that worked. We've got the data. Ah, uh, failed the flyover course adjustment. We will resist. So that's the nav. And that worked really well. Please give us another nav. Okay, well, we got more comms, but just one shy. We're one shy. Okay, well, this is a little bit tight. Um, if we use the one power to get three data, and then we can get one comms there, so... One power to get three data. But we'll need another power. Another power. And then we can get the nav. Oh, but that's not good. Um, we need three nav. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, okay. Well, hold on. Let's not do that one. So we got two extra, and this will give two, two. That would work for the bonuses. If everything works right. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, let's try it. Ah, there goes that idea. Hmm, three data. Ah, yeah, let us resist. That'll condemn some some other step though. Yeah, we couldn't quite do the flyover course adjustments, so we didn't get enough nav. Okay, perform controlled reentry. Oh, we have to do another thing. Controlled reentry, huh? Yeah. Well, yes, Gemini did that. Wow. Okay, five turns, four things, and we have to. Heat will be modified between 1 and 3 at the start of the next turn. And... What does that do for me? <laughs> okay. So, I want... Both of them to... Take some heat and produce comms, I guess? And... As long as there's one heat, I guess that's fine. And then we can get a whole lot of nav out of that. And why don't we just get more comms and then even more nav. Let's see. Okay. We've still got the trunk on. That's not right. <laughs> Re-entry. Well, I guess there's... Planning prior to re-entry? I don't know. Fly over course adjustment. Okay. So here we have a gauge. Heat. We got one heat. Oh, okay, okay. So we added one heat to the situation. And we got a limit of four. Uh, we'll resist that. Is that okay? Alright, that was okay. The task will end if heat reaches 4, it seems like. Oh, and we added one heat. Is there any way to reduce heat? Uh... So wait. Oh yeah, okay, so we are reducing heat by using it like this, okay. 
So... What can data be turned into? It looks like data can be turned into two and two of them. Well, let's uh, go ahead and try this one once. And... Then we can... Let's go ahead and try that one. Recharge. I think one... Creating one data for this is more efficient. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, come on, astronauts, I swear. Okay, resist. We need that data. Okay, the transmission worked. And orbital realignment worked. Okay, yes. We don't want it to reach four. Wow, I got three more. Okay, let's use up some. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's have some power and heat to nav. And... Recharge. Both of you produce more of that stuff. And... Data and nav to more comms. And we'll try that. So we'll use up two heat. Bet NASA wished it could use heat to produce comms, nav, or data. Well, data you can. All right, so far so good. And that's good too. And we seem to... Oh, wow, we reached four. Uh-oh. Uh, let's do all the things that can use heat. Uh, let's ping location. Um, and let's do this one twice. Let's get all sorts of data. And trade data for stuff. We've got a lot of data, so we can definitely do a lot of that. All right. Hopefully that'll be okay. Ooh, we're really... Sparks are flying here. Could you just take more of the heat? <laughs> I don't need the extra data. If it fails, does that mean it doesn't take the heat? I, I think it takes the resources anyway, so that's okay. So that that's a positive. It always takes the resources, so we can always count on it taking away the heat. Okay, we got that done properly. Ooh, that's good. And we got an additional transmission. Okay, 1414. And how much heat did we get this time? One point. Last turn, though. I don't know if I can swing... Well, we can do this a couple of times. Three times. And we should use up some heat. So why don't we go ahead and... Um, have both of them work on that. We can only get three heat per turn, so as long as we use one, it should be fine. And then I'm reserving one power to do, uh, what you got, reset, just in case something goes wrong. Ground control connection worked. Okay. Nope, oh, speaking of which. Okay, we'll resist this one. Hopefully the other one will work. Oh no! We didn't get the bonus. 
I can't resist. So close. Oh wait, we got it? I don't understand. Okay, well anyway, they came back. That's the important part. Okay. Um, Multi-crew orbit. Yes, that's the milestone I was looking for. Okay, oh, okay, so we got that fulfilled. And now we have reduced mission research costs. So we should research more missions. Which we're already doing. Okay, they need to recuperate, which is fine. I wasn't planning on more crewed missions for a little bit. And as far as active missions, we've got one slot available, but not enough money, really. So we'll have to hold off on that. Research, we're still researching Mars orbit. But hopefully it'll go faster with the reduced mission cost. So, I think I'll leave it here. We've gotten something done, at least we've gotten that milestone first. But they're obviously ahead, uh, everybody else is sort of obviously ahead of us as far as interplanetary missions, so it's going to be interesting in the race to land a person on the moon. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.